solids, cuboid, cube, prism and pyramid. So far we have been talking of and working with plane figures. Plane figures have length and breadth or base and altitude. They are two dimensional. In our daily life we come across different objects like a brick, a box, a book and a door. These objects have length, breadth and height and are physical examples of a geometric figure called a cuboid. Cuboid. The figure shown here represents a cuboid. It is clear from the figure that a cuboid is made up of six rectangular plane surfaces. They are ABCD, EFGH, ADHE, BFGC, ABFE, and DCGH. Each surface is called a face of the cuboid. Thus, a cuboid has six faces. ABCD and EFGH ADHE and BFGC and ABFE and DCGH are the pairs of congruent rectangles. These rectangles are equal in all respects. These congruent faces lie in parallel planes. Lateral faces. The faces other than the top and bottom are called lateral faces of a cuboid. Adjacent faces. Any two faces other than opposite faces are called adjacent faces of the cuboid. Edge. Adjacent faces have a common edge. Adjacent faces of the cuboid meet in a line segment called an edge of the cuboid. A cuboid has 12 edges. AB, CD, EF, HG. AD, BC, EH, FG, AE, BF, CG, and DH. Vertex. In a cuboid, we find eight corners. Each corner is called the vertex of the cuboid. The cuboid shown here has eight vertices. The edges meet at the vertices. In the figure, the vertices are a, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Cube. If the length, breadth, and height of a cuboid are equal, then it is called a cube. The figure shown on the screen represents a cube. In a cube, all the twelve edges are equal and all the six faces are squares. Prism. A right prism is a solid formed by plane faces such that its bases are parallel and congruent polygons while the lateral faces are all rectangles. The distance between the parallel bases is called the height of the right prism. A prism need not rest on its base. It may rest on a lateral face. The prisms are named after the base. If the base is a triangle, the prism is called triangular prism. If the base figure is a pentagon, the prism is called a pentagonal prism. Displayed here are few prisms with their names. Go through their names and observe the base of the prisms. Pyramid These are the pyramids of Egypt. In geometry, a pyramid is a solid whose sides are triangles having a common vertex and whose base is a plain rectilinear figure. The perpendicular which is drawn from the vertex of a pyramid to its base is called the height of the pyramid. In the figure shown on the screen, ABCDE is the base of the pyramid. OP is the height of the pyramid. A pyramid is called regular when its base is any regular figure. A pyramid is called a right pyramid when the foot of the perpendicular from the vertex to the base is the midpoint of the base. The slant height of a right regular pyramid is the straight line joining the vertex to the midpoint of one of the sides of the base. In the figure, 
OS is the slant height of the pyramid. According to its base being a triangle, a square, a pentagon, and a hexagon, the pyramid is called a tetrahedron, a square pyramid, a pentagonal pyramid, and a hexagonal pyramid respectively.